happy to be a Jose. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. I'm really happy to be a Jose. Thank you, Lord. My name is Edidion Oko, and I'm from Akwaibo. I've been coming, I'm going, I'm becoming a girl. So my testimony goes like this. Before I became a chosen, before I became a chosen, I was looking for a baby boy in my family. I had two girls already. So we are praying with my wife. Is this one going to be all the way to? Are we going to try to get a boy? Are we going to try again so that you to be a boy? She said, let's try that. We'll try. After months of pregnancy, she was heavy. Then one day I came back, she told me she was watching a cable on, uh, on our parlor, on the, inside the room. I said, well, what happened there? She said she heard one man of God preaching. I said, which man of God? She said, the man of God was wearing a apron, preaching, that is from choosing. I said, what happened? The man of God was saying, you woman in your husband's bedroom, you're looking for a baby boy. You're wearing red. I give you that baby boy in Jesus' name. Hey! Ah, I, I said, uh huh. And she fell down on the bed. Ah, she doesn't know what happened to her. She fell down. When she, after five minutes or that, she got up. And after that, she felt so okay. And then what happened? She said, okay, so let me see what will happen now. Is it going to be a baby boy? I said, let's see what will happen. <laughs> after months, she got, she delivered, and it was a baby boy. Power! Hey, hey, hey. All the way. From beginning to the end, choosing God praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What I'm saying, what, what I want to start from that point is this same baby boy that also encouraged me to come to choose it. This same baby boy. Then, after a while, I continued with my normal church. I said, ah, maybe it's one of these churches. Okay, let me continue with my normal church. I continued after one you know, year because of issues of church activities, issues of church. I said, I'm not going to church again. Church is full of issues. Let me stay at home. I don't want to go to church, any church again. I stayed for months, months, when I said months. That same little boy, when he grew up, he told me, Daddy, why are we not going to church? I said, I don't know what to answer this small boy. You. I was so shy. I was so ashamed of myself. I said, okay, I'll tell you later. I left the boy. I entered the room. I prayed to God. I said, God, show me church to worship. I want to worship a church. I don't want to jump into any church again. Just show me a church to worship. The same night, when I was sleeping, on my revelation dream, I met that daddy Gio. He said, go to choose it. Hey! I, I said, go to choose it. He said, he knows why he's telling me to go to choose it. Go and worship in the choose it. When you go there, as you're going to, as you're go, walking towards to choose a church, there will be some distractions. Churches will tell you, come and join me, come and join me. But, Make sure you go and worship with choosing. Hmm. I, I said, wow. Choosing. I used to, I, I know my mother used to go to that church. She's a woman leader, but we used to laugh at that. Why are you wearing um, air prop? Uh, she would just laugh at us and tell her, I'll try to encourage us to join. Then, the next Sunday, I enter my car. We join with my children. We enter. I said, let's go to choosing. We all entered. As we were going, churches were telling us, come to my own, come to my own. I said, no. Man of God said, I should go to choose it. He said, no, 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 come to this one. He said, I should go to choose it. Then I entered the nearest branch. On entering the nearest branch, I sat down with my children. The pastor was preaching. The very first word that caught it, that captivated me was, my faith is greater than your doubt. Power! I say, even if I'm doubting something, your faith is greater than my doubt. That's what I'm telling inside my mind. I <laughs> see, see, I say, see, pastors, you don't come. Your f so even if I want to become the president, I, I, I go be. I say, okay, no problem. Let me start from my area, my house. There's a plot of land, not a plot, like four plots of land, very big. This land has been beside me for years. We've been looking for buyers, even me. So that I can get something. I, I said, let me go and start from that land and see that my faith is greater than your dad. <laughs> I hurriedly went to that land like this. I entered. I said, my daddy Gio said, his faith is greater than my dad. This land, I claim it in Jesus' name. 
that I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing. That this land, I claim it in Jesus' name. I went out with fear. Lo and behold, that land that worth millions belongs to me now. Power! Jesus, praise the Lord. Power! Power! With the fear and doubt, and God has just indeed it. Thank you, Father. That loan that people have been coming and be running away that is too much for them belongs to this person that is standing here who hey. called himself a chosen. It belongs to him. It, oh, I can't thank him enough. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. I'm really happy to be a chosen. My testimonies are much, but I want to give this last one because of time. I'll be processing my visa. Each time I come to Lagos, two times. I came first one for police extract. I came the other one for medical treatment. Each time I come, I come to this altar. And before I land this place, they have closed. I will not see anybody. I will just come here and say, God of choosing, I need visa. I need visa. I left. I come back again. The next time I come, I say, God of choosing, I need this visa. They say, any prayer point that you put here, that it must work. Ah, I say, no problem. Let me try. I tried it two times. My brother, this is my visa to go to United Kingdom. Power! Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Father. God of choosing answers prayer. This is my multiple visa to go to United Kingdom. Power! This visa, I can use it for anything I want in the United Kingdom. Thank you, Father. To work, to do any type of job I want to do in the United Kingdom. To go to school, anything I want to do. This is the visa. Hmm. This is a visa that has been taking people millions. They didn't get it. But even when I was coming to this hotel, friends that are not choosing used to laugh at me. You have joined the visa people, they will chop your money on. I say, well, I prayed in this altar that my own God will not fail me. This is the visa. <laughs> choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My brethren, it's good to worship the God of choosing. Hmm. It's great indeed. Then I started looking for a way to run away without giving this uh, testimony. I said, well, is it not the same choosing? Uh, when I get to London, I give the testimony. When I do that, I will go to do it. They booked my flight last week, Friday. I said, okay, I will not come to church and give this testimony. I will dodge it. Lo and behold, I missed that flight Thursday. I, and I remembered my dream that says, why are you running away from this testimony? Hmm. You will never run away. Hmm. This altar gave you this visa. And you don't want to come and testify in this altar. That you will not go. Hey! I, I say, is this the meaning of this dream? Ha! Ah, Jesus Christ. Let me come. Oh. I was shaking over. I say, uh, early, which next Sunday I will come here early. Do you know that I entered this place? I did not take my bath. I didn't know that I did not take my bath. I did not go back. God. It's only one member right here that told me, brethren, you did not take your bath. Oh. I said, how will I take my bath when I want to testify with God? I'm eager to run. No? So what do, let me just come and clear this. this. I, I need to thank God. So my brother, it's good to come and testify. Thank you, I'm Father. happy to be a choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choosing, I will be forever and evermore. Choosing, choosing I, I will, will be, be forever and evermore. Choosing, I will be all forever and Evermore, chosen you and me with you forever and evermore. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So tomorrow they told me to come and reschedule the flight. That I will travel this week by God's grace. That nothing will hinder it. I say once I come here, that nothing will hinder my travel again in Jesus' name. Amen. I wish everybody heaven as last. My general overseer, all members, myself, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. You have said it. Remember to join the choosing in UK. We have many branches there. Many, many branches. Check with the foreign mission and locate where to go. Brethren, guests and invited. It looks like so many people are sitting on God or choosing's miracles. I want to beg you, if you are one of them, make every effort and testify. You are hindering yourself and God is not happy about it. You can see it for yourself. Testify so that God will lead, take all the glory in Jesus' name. The last testifier for today. The last testifier. 
We have a father that will never, never fail us. We have a father that will never, never fail us. Jesus is our father that will never, never fail us. Rock of ages never, never fail. We have a father that will never, never fail us. We have a Father that will never, never fail us. Jesus is our Father that will never, never fail us. God of choosing never, never fails. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Lucky Azebe. I'm residing at Imo State. I want to thank God very, very much for making me a choosing. Thank you, Father. My testimony is very large, uh, hmm. but I just need to make it very brief because, because of time. I joined choosing in the year 2010 by God's help. But along the line, I was just a church goer. I never knew that it is not every church you can go in and live anyhow life. Hmm. My wife keeps telling me, because my wife is a devoted choosing member, and one of my daughters very devoted keep telling me, darling, why? Why not try? Why not try? I do smoke, I do drink, I do womanize, all sorts of evil, all sorts of abominable things. Do it very conveniently. You don't even see as if anything is wrong. You can travel and book a hotel, invite a lady, sleep with that lady without even minding. Nothing breaks your heart. But towards the end of last that is 2022. It don't mean that I had to be a chosen indeed. Hmm. And to God be the glory, I was privileged to fellowship in this that in this auditorium, in this ground. Let me call, put it like that. The man of God, our GO, our beloved Father in the Lord. Keep preaching. Keep preaching. I attended a series of self, a service here. A sinner is not a Christian, and a hmm. Christian is never a sinner. Hmm. This word keep coming. Keep coming. Keep dawning on me. One day, I made up my mind. I said, I must be a choosing indeed hmm. in this ground. And I want to thank God. So far, He has kept me floating normally as a chosen indeed. Clap unto God of the chosen. Clap unto God. There is power that can compare you be born again. The Bible said, He that sinned him with the serpent bite. Before I finally declared I'm a chosen, the devil has bastardized my head. Hmm. I'm somebody that used to enjoy very good head, very sound head. In fact, since I was born, I don't think I've slept in the hospital. But I just see myself head declining. A lot of symptoms coming up. To that extent, as at almost two years ago, I discovered that I cannot, my digestion system crashed. Hmm. I keep battling, I keep struggling. If I didn't take some purgatory medicine, I won't be able to ease myself, I won't be able to go to the toilet. I keep struggling, I keep battling. I told my wife, told my daughter, look at what I'm passing through. My wife said, don't worry, just obey God. Now that you are chosen, God will take care of it. Hmm. Behold, I was in one of the services here, I was weeping. The, my spirit keep reminding me, look, you are going to die. But I said, I won't die because the pastor, our G.O., 
in his, in his course of ministry and he said every judgment that the enemy has placed upon you that judgment has been cancelled the mercy of God has cancelled it I keep encouraging myself I will not die eventually about three weeks or four weeks ago the man of God mounted the pulpit and in his course of praying he said there's somebody here you will find it very difficult to go to the toilet he said I cancelled that affliction hmm. and last week I came here, came here as in the other old auditorium one man came up and gave a similar testimony how God delivered his daughter in the same problem I started with it to go I said but we're in the same category now hear my cry behold after that service the man of God prayed intensively after that service I went to the altar I prayed to God I said God if we are in the same category with this person and you have done it for this person now do it for me and again I have yielded my life to you I should enjoy the benefit of being a true child of God behold merely we close from service from that last Sunday till now I became released hey healing came thank you father thank you brother chosen I want to thank God of choosing for what he has done for me. It's just an expression of what most of you may not even understand what I'm saying. If you were in my shoe, if you were in my, if you know what I passed through for the number of, you know, months, I'll be in the toilet. I, if I, for me to go to public toilet is a problem because people will be wondering, ah, what are you doing inside? Are you giving birth? But God, by his infinite mercy, through the word from his servant, Cancel that affliction. For Thank my you, body. Father. Thank you, God of Jesus. Thank you. I want to give glory to God what He had done for me. As I'm standing here, I want to quickly say that just like what so many people normally say, we don't know what we are enjoying. Dr. Jesus just did it for me. And tell me how, how much will I have spent even if you have the money I believe my system collapsed hmm. due to some vital organs that were getting damaged but that have been restored by the word of a servant here hmm. I want to give glory to Can God we clap on to God glory clap to on to God. God appreciate God more glory to God thank you father thank you Lord it's good to enjoy the presence of God in this place I've told my wife I said you are one of the tools God used to recover me apart from the word from this pulpit you stood by me you prayed for me and I want to pray briefly for a pastor of course I'm not worthy to pray for him that the God that called him that he using him to liberate souls to bring out people from the pit people that are downcasted to lift them up those people that are in terrible afflictions to heal them those people that have never experienced salvation that don't even know what is the meaning of salvation they live in sin and you know uh, that boy into sin live any hard life and God has been using him to recover so many souls to the kingdom of God that God will keep protecting him that God will keep empowering him that his ministry here on earth will be fully achieved Amen. will be fully finalized Amen. that at the end of our stay here on earth and our departure here on earth we will all meet in heaven in Jesus name Amen. I wish all the choosing members heaven and last I wish myself and my family heaven and last I wish our Gio and his entire family heaven and last in Jesus name Amen Give God a special clap of friend for the testimonies you have heard today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord.